So there's so many different ways to put yourself in play. And people say they're doing it, but they're not really doing it. If you want to saturate your micro market, you want to be the person that's known. How many different ways can you go, can you go about saturating your market? Just take a piece of paper out right now. You got radio, you've got TV, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got this, you've got that, you've got sponsoring events, you've got going to meetings, you've got billboards. Write down a list of every single way that you could make noise and be seen in your marketplace. Now, I ask people when they start going through those checklists, they're like, yeah, we've done this and we've done that. Look, poor execution on something doesn't mean that thing doesn't work. In addition to that, when you're just doing one thing at a time and then something else at another time, you don't create momentum. You don't get any synergy. When you do lots of little things at one time, you create momentum, you create synergy. So identifying, being very intentional about what do I want the community or the people or the customers I serve, it doesn't matter if you're a micro market or a macro market, but what is the thing you want to be known for? And how do you make sure you scream louder than anyone else that the benefit of what you do is so impactful that you have advocates of the people you do it for? How many of you run customer appreciation programs? Look, if, if I was, I'm going to pick a business. If I own an HVAC business or a roofing business, right, or a dental practice, and I wanted to be best known, I would host customer appreciation or patient appreciation events. I would take down a whole restaurant and put so much noise into promoting it and talking about it and having a VIP area for people that bring people with them. Like, Think outside of the box. So many traditional business people block themselves into this little box that I'm going to hire a whole bunch of other people to have them go out and saturate my market and make the noise for me. But I'm unwilling to get my ass out and go do it myself. Well, I can tell you right now, look, whatever you do, start your own podcast. You can buy your own podcast. You're not going to get Will. He's the best. You're not going to get Will. But I tell you this, you could find somebody that wants to learn to do podcasting and you could shoot podcasts every week about your business and why it matters. You could interview your customers. You could talk about how you saved them a bunch of money or how you fixed a huge problem or found mold in their house when you were cleaning the HVAC system and saved their lives. Like there's a million things you could intentionally do if you're looking for the opportunities to do it. What I have often found with business owners, they're so fixated on the what they do. And Michael Gerber talks about this in e because 70% of all businesses are started from people who are technically inclined and good at what they do, and they don't want to work for somebody else. Well, that's great. And being an expert at what you do is critically important, but then recognizing maybe your skill set isn't going out and connecting with the community. It might be in wiring things or building things or whatever you do, right? Fixing people. What you need to do is you need to separate yourself outside of the what you do. And you need to think about who I'm doing it with, how I'm doing it, and how every single person that I have the potential to impact learns that I'm there for them and what the benefit is to them. Don't talk about the what you do. Talk about the benefit to the people. And then when you create this benefit for whoever you serve, start doing customer or patient appreciation moments. Bring them in and go hire some social media guys and go hire somebody with cameras, for goodness sakes, kids, it doesn't matter. And have them run around and ask people questions. What is it you appreciate about Mr. Smith? What is it you appreciate about Dr. Bob? What do you think about Dr. Janice? Like get people to give information that then you can use to promote who you are, why you're impactful. And the thing, the result that your business is geared around doing, why you should be the person everyone should want to go to because you're not only remarkable at what you do, but the community trusts you because you've done it with so many people so well. 
It's in those moments of talking to existing customers or patients or whatever you, whoever you serve or sell to or whatever you do, it's in those moments that you get the granular information that allows you to go out and scream it from the mountaintop. We change people's lives by doing this. Not, we do this, so come see us, right? Like, what is the benefit what is the result that you want people to trust you and only know you and depend on you to fulfill for them that something you're passionate about? Ask them, get them talking about it, message what they say, and then message it in every single vehicle that you could message it in. And listen, I know for a fact, I have a 26-year-old, three grandkids. I got a 23-year-old. I have a 13-year-old. My 13-year-old could be an EVP of digital marketing for almost any company in the world. She knows more about how to use that phone than I will ever know. She knows how to edit the video. She knows how to post the video. She knows how to, all this stuff. If you've got a 13-year-old, tell your 13-year-old to start coming to the meetings where you're hosting an event, go around with their cell phones and ask, why do you work with my daddy? Or why do you work with my mommy? Do you mind if I just shoot a quick video? Give your 13-year-old 10 bucks for every finished one-minute clip that they produce for you that you can post to your Instagram or you can stick on your Facebook. The challenge is not difficult. Thinking outside the box is what's difficult. You have so many resources available to you to dominate and saturate your market as a business owner should you choose to use those resources.